Hey, what's up? I'm Rachel Starr, and this is one of my little uh, schizophrenia videos. So those who are into stunts, just go to the next one, or the previous one. Uh, anyway, I had a message for my uh, schizos, my bipolar people, like anybody out there with like a mental disorder kind of thing. Um, basically, here's, and I've, those of you who have emailed me back and forth, I tell you this all the time, you're not broken. Okay? You're not broken. You're not sick. All right? Your brain just works differently. All right? Having schizophrenia, you know, I don't like the term mental illness because it's not a sickness. I'm not going to get better. There's no cure for schizophrenia because it's not a disease. Uh, it's just basically my mind, or your mind, works differently than normal people. Uh, is that a bad thing? No. However, the world was not made for you. So, you have to find ways to adjust. Is that fair? No, but I guess the, you know, the analogy I always give people is it's a little easier to understand is if I was born, you know, with only one arm. You know, was I born broken? No, I was born this way. It's not like I had an arm and it got like broken off. Okay, no, I was just born without an arm. So, that's just how I was made. Now, is that fair? Because everyone else has two arms, pretty much, so sweaters are made for people with two arms. So what will I do? I just have to adjust. That's how it is with, like, having a brain disorder. Your brain was born differently. Now, it's good and bad, because, like, with me, I always say schizophrenia is why I am so creative. Um, but there's, like, good and bad to it. I feel like I can see things better than some people, that I understand things better. Uh, my grandfather was going through Alzheimer's. It was e very easy for me to uh, relate to him because I kind of like the things he was saying I understood because I had been there, that mental confusion and whatnot. So I think when other people go through stuff, I'm able to understand better. And um, yeah, a lot of people have been asking me recently, like, how do I deal with um, having to explain myself with how do I, you know, with people who, who say mean things who may know. Uh, the best example, and, uh, you know, the prejudice and stuff. I, I don't care. If you want to believe whatever you want to believe, that's fine. I don't give a crap. You don't know me. You don't know what it's like with this, so don't... Yeah, just like I don't know what your situation is like. Um, I was telling someone once that I was at a, uh, a uh, public place, and somebody came up to me and was very rude to me, who had uh, heard that I had known from, like, childhood about the schizophrenia and they pretty much accused me in public not loudly like hollering but still in public of being demon possessed and the person I'm telling the story to was like you know how does that make you feel that, that this person thinks you have a demon in you and I'm like you think I got a goblin in me and I'm crazy I don't care at all what you think if you think I got a goblin in me I mean what I have, little, I have little green men living in me? That's what you believe? And you're gonna tell me I'm insane? Uh, it's always funny, people message me wanting to know how that I have it so together. And that's the most hilarious thing to me because my life is so not together. And if you just see like these little video windows of me that I guess you can, it can appear that way. I appear very outgoing and not socially awkward and things like that. Uh, I do work and stuff. Uh, going back to like what I said, you have to kind of like find your way to work in this world. I can't work a full-time job. Drives me insane. So I work like three part-time jobs. That's how I manage because that's an easier schedule for me. Um, I'm not a normal sleeping schedule person because of my insomnia. I'll be up you know, sometimes three nights in a row and then I'll nap during the day sometimes. It just, my schedule's always like kind of off. So a uh, normal nine to five job, it's really, it's not doable for me because in the times I've had one, it just didn't work out and I usually got mentally worse and worse. Um, but yeah, I don't have it together at all. <laughs> like my life is hilariously untogether. And I love when people think it's not like that. Um, but it's just every day trying to find ways to deal, um, trying to find like coping mechanisms and you know, I it's just, it's every day is you got to find stuff for whatever your mental disorder. And even if you're a schizophrenic like me, 
your your trials with schizophrenia is going to be completely different. Um, I know I'm very abnormal with schizo because most of my hallucinations are visual, which isn't normal. They they tend to be uh, um, audio with most people. Mine are predominantly visual. Um, I know the movie A Beautiful Mind where he actually had like three different people he constantly envisioned. I've never had that. I've had uh, reoccurring monsters. I have a few that like are always there, but they don't talk to me. Like in A Beautiful Mind, the three people talk to him. They, they've never spoken to me. My monsters don't speak. It goes back to they're not audio. Um, I do have audio hallucinations, but it's really not like uh, someone having a conversation with me. Lately, uh, a lot of people have been um, sending me emails talking about like suicide and that kind of pain and things like that. You know, I have severe depression. I'm on uh, antidepressants and stuff. But as far as what I feel and what I always tell people is that when it comes to that, you do whatever you have to. There are certain times in my life where it's literally just been living from minute to minute. Break your days down if you have to. Survive one minute at a time, one hour at a time, one day at a time, one month at a time. I mean, every time so I just have to like distract myself, you know. Um, do things that make you happy. If you got like a favorite movie, watch that. Get out of the house. Go get around people. All right. No one has the right to take away your life. Ever. Even you. You're worth it. Okay. You are worth it. You are worth this life and you are worth a better life and being able to take control of that. So fight for it. You know, do what you have to do. Because it's not fair. You shouldn't have to feel that way. You are worth living and you're worth getting to a better spot. And the best thing I can tell people is distract yourself is what works for me. Distract yourself any way you can and get out of the house. Get away from being alone. Even if you're in public, like people you don't know, like go to a coffee shop. You know, just go get out of the house. Go to McDonald's. Sit around, use their Wi-Fi, and have a Big Mac. Whatever. Just to get out. Uh, me, I go to the gym. I go to the gym um, just to be around people. Whether I've even, like, days I've already worked out beforehand, like I've already went running or something, I'll still go to the gym and... Uh, I have a really cool one because they have a basketball court, they have swimming. So I just go and I'm not going with anyone. I just go. I throw the basket alone just to get out and break that cycle of that kind of the bad stuff. Just break it. Just do whatever you have to do. So I'm Rachel Starr. Um, again, if you have any questions and stuff like that, email me rachel at rachelstarlive.com and um, you can put it down here in the uh, comment section or whatever. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, yeah. Basically, I just wanted you to know you're not broken, okay? You're not broken. Very frustrated with, I don't like any of this, we're gonna start over.